make it of a less of a stigma thing. Um, and the last thing I want to say just is a shock factor is what happened to me as a candidate in 2018. I was giving a live on the air interview um, to a local radio station down in Lynchburg. So Lynchburg should already be your first red flag. <laughs> um, but we're live on the air. And he said, um, I understand that you're um, pro-choice. And I said, yeah. He said, well, in my experience, most women who are pro-choice have had abortions before. Have you ever had an abortion? Live on the radio, he is asking me my personal health information. So I looked at him and I said, you know, that's personal private health information. And he said, well, most women who are pro-choice have been raped in it before in their life. Have you ever been raped before? He's asking a congressional candidate live on an interview over the radio if I've ever been raped and if I've ever had an abortion. Luckily, my campaign staff called me up. We just walked off the air, live off the air. We walked off. Um, I would bet my last dollar that no single man, pro-life man, is ever asked how many children, like going back to what Chanda said, how many children have you adopted? How many, you know, children do you or families are you sponsoring? How many electric bills have you paid? How many college tuitions are you helping pay? You know, men candidates are never asked these kind of questions. Why are they pro-life? Um, what exactly does pro-life mean to them? Because we know Ben Klein, he's voting against Medicare for all. That's not pro-life. He's voting against, you know, all these legislations that equals up, totals up, he's not pro-life. Um, and I think we do need to, you know, re, um, re co up that word is like, that's not pro-life. All of us on this call are more pro-life than any of those people are um, because we care about them having access to health care, mental health care, food, a, a living wage, a living wage <laughs> is, is, is pro-life. Um, affordable uh, affordable housing is pro-life. Um, safe education is pro-life. All of these things um, that we all fight for on a daily basis are more pro-life. And I think we need to start saying we are pro-life um, in the way that it says we are pro-choice. Um, because the, the way that they've been able to co-opt that word is really not accurate. Um, and I think the more that we, we say that, we call that out, and we question them on that. When we talk, when we go to these things, you know, these, as they're campaigning, if these people knock on your door, ask them, what makes you pro-life? I don't believe in abortion. Okay. Then you're pro-birth. Well, what after that? What after birth makes you pro-life? Um, so I just encourage you all to really understand what we're up against that. Yes, Ben Klein can look like the, the good looking guy next door, but he's a really extreme guy, Chanda. <laughs> Um, he look, you know, he's like, he's the, he's the nice boy next door. Um, but he's really an extreme person. Um, and we need to vote him out again. He's got a primary. Um, so look up his primary, um, opponent, if you're interested Saturday, please come out to the rallies, um, wherever you are, whether you're in Stanton or somewhere else, 